Why would I do that? That's fucking stupid. I wouldn't do that for no reason. I ain't got no problem with the neighbors. The neighbors is a... In general, the neighbors is a cool little fake relationship. Like, it's all right. You know what I mean by fake relationship. I pull up to the crib. You fake smiling, waving me. And I fake smiling, wave right back at you. Fuck, it ain't okay. You go inside your house. You mind your own fucking business. And I go in my house. And I mind my own fucking business. Right? That's how it work. I ain't gonna lie, sometimes I do peek out the blinds and shit just to see what's going on. I just wanna make sure everybody get murdered. But let me tell you about this particular instance that I'm talking about. Two years ago, on the same tour that I told y'all about earlier, I got finished with the tour, and I looked at my life, I looked at my career, and I said, you know what? I think I made it to a point where I accomplished some shit, I'm happy enough. I think it's time to go back home. I have been in New York for a long ass time trying to make this shit happen, you know what I mean? Shout out to everybody from Queens in this motherfucker. But I felt like it was time to go home. So that's what I did. I went home. The first thing I did when I got home, went to the suburbs, got a house, and I got this house for one reason, and one reason only. It's always been my dream to put a studio in a house. Just have a house with a fucking studio in it. And be bringing people through all the time. It was just always a dream. And it ain't even no high tech. It ain't no Dr. Dre shit or nothing like that. It's some low key house studio shit. You walk into the house, you go down to the basement, you get to the basement. It's a little finished basement, got some carpet and shit. We got some speakers. The speakers is nice, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but I probably got some of the, the, the same desk as some of you niggas in here and some old shit from Ikea. You know what I mean? <laughs> that, that bitch work. It's leaning though. I think I put it together wrong, but you know. I got a comfortable ass couch. Right above that couch, I got posters and pictures on every inch of the wall, right? And on these posters and pictures is like, People that I look up to, people from from our past, music, culture, our history. And so when you walk into the room, that shit feels special. It's a vibe automatically because you got these important people looking at you when you walk into the room. So if you're a creative person, when you walk in there, you just feel a vibe, right? Every day we got artists and producers in and out working. Niggas chasing their dream. Got motherfuckers sleeping on air mattresses every day just trying to make this shit happen, right? We doing some of the most positive shit in this house that you could ever do. We making musical vibrations that maybe one day make their way to you. If you're going through some shit and get your mind off it for a moment, you know what I mean? You can't really get more positive than that. That's what we doing. So tell me why. Nah, tell me why. New York City, tell me why. One day, out the fucking blue, 15 fucking SWAT police officers wearing some ridiculous shit from the future. I ain't never seen no shit like this. This shit was over the top. You ever played uh, fucking Call of Duty? You look like some shit off Call of Duty. The shit they was wearing in New York City, I don't think Donald Trump seen the shit that they had on. I don't know if he's approved this shit yet. Some shit they been saving for ISIS, but they brought it to my fucking house for some reason. These niggas show up at my door. Deep. Big ass fucking guns, they bust in the house. Matter of fact, New York, I'm telling y'all about it, but I actually got the fucking footage. Can we show these people the footage of this fucking raid, please? Look at this shit. Look at these niggas. The fuck is that gun? Watch, he about to bust in the house right now, and then count them up. That's just the front. Now look at this dude. This is when they get in the house. This nigga just knows he's busting into a drug room right now. He got it. I'm in. No, nigga, it's the fucking outside, you idiot. 
Look, this is the dirty shit though. There ain't no black people had cameras too. This is when they find out. That's my pool stick, by the way. This is when they find out black people got cameras too. inside the house. <laughs> Fucking idiots. Y'all could have just knocked on the front door or something, my nigga. I would have came out humble as fuck in my drawers like, hey, <laughs> fuck is going on? I don't know who they thought they came to see, who house they thought they was busting into, maybe Pablo Escobar, perhaps. <laughs> maybe they thought I was one of the Migos. I don't fucking know. I know a nigga got dressed now, but God damn. All of that and they ain't find nothing, right? But they didn't just close their eyes and point at my house. Why do y'all think they showed up like that? The fucking neighbors. One neighbor in particular, I don't want to sit on all my neighbors. My good white neighbors. <laughs> it's just one in particular. I think it's the motherfucker behind me. Matter of fact, I'm pretty, if I had to bet money on this shit, I bet it's the motherfucker behind me. How do I know that? Because every time this nigga's out mowing his fucking extra green lawn that he'd spend too much time on, every time he mowing his lawn, he just exudes a racist ass vibe. I can feel it. Matter of fact, over the sound of the lawnmower, I can hear what he's saying under his breath. It sounded something like, these fucking niggers in my neighborhood. <laughs> Can't believe it. Took me 27 long years to get in there. So he called the police. They did what they did. I was mad as fuck. Hot. I wrote 19 rap verses about these niggas. I was about to drop an album on these niggas. <laughs> fuck them. I was mad as fuck. For real. About to get on some NWA shit. For real. I'm about to see a whole new J. Cole. Fuck all that college shit, nigga. We was <laughs> Nah, but for real, I was mad as fuck. But I thought about it. And even though it's fucked up on their part, it's wrong as fuck. I thought about it and I had to check myself. Because I felt like I was guilty of something. And I'm going to tell you what that is. Every time in this country a black man gets some money, a good amount of money, what's the first place he moved to? Where he want to go? Immediately, nine times out of ten, he gonna be living right next door to somebody that don't even want him there. They're not comfortable with your presence. But that's where we go anyways, right? Because we feel validated like we made it. What we won't do is go to where we come from or one of our neighborhoods, buy some property, build this shit up, you know what I mean? Invest into the community, we don't do that. And I felt like, I even got a clap, because I feel like I was guilty of the same shit. And it made me like this. So much for integration Don't know what I was thinking 